if you study Genesis very well, you will notice also there are people called the, land, the people of Nod. If you have studied Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2. The most important question we have to ask ourselves is this. Is Adam and Eve the first human being to be created? Are they the first human being to be created? If they were the first human beings, or in quotes, because the Bible says he made them both male and female. So I'm assuming that Adam, they are they, because Ad, the person Adam wasn't just a man. It was both a male and female. We've studied that here, but we are not going there. When God cursed, when God spoke to Cain after he killed Abel, Cain was afraid that anyone that sees him was going to kill him. Do you know that? You know the story. So who were those people that Cain was afraid of? That they were going to kill him when they see him. Even to the point that God now said, all right, anybody that, I'll give you a mark so anyone that sees you will not kill you. Now, if we study Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2, we will realize that in Genesis chapter 1, God made man. Let us make man in our own image after our likeness. In Genesis chapter 2, God molded a man from the ground and breathed into him and placed him in the garden. Who was that man that he placed in the garden? The first Adam. He placed him in the garden specifically to tend to the garden. So, there are questions that we need to answer. First, are they the first uh, man or people to be created? I don't think so. They are not. They were people of the land of Nod. And also, if you remember in the Bible, the Bible says something. It said, and the sons of God came and slept with the sons of men. Amen, somebody? If you don't read the Bible, then there's no way I can explain some of these things. Amen? The sons of God came and what? Slept with the uh, daughters of men. And they gave birth to giants that we call Nephilims. So they were sons of God. Who are those sons of God? Who were they? So who did Cain marry? Cain married probably from uh, the, uh, not probably, Ken married from the people of Nod. Not, Ken didn't marry his sister, please. I've heard people say that, theologians say that, that Ken married his sister. So, uh, actually, what happened was Ken went, left, and then waited for uh, uh, Adam and Eve to give birth to Seth and everyone, but then he came back and said, please, can I take, imagine. So, Ken did not marry his sister. Ken married from the people of the land of Nod. He married one of them.